Hello and welcome to this Joomla tutorial video. Today we're going to be reviewing our enhanced season grid tool. So this is as part of your Joomla home site, which you'll find under settings, Joomla home site, and then you go to edit site. So what this will do is it'll open your Joomla home site in the edit mode. And again, today I'm going to be focusing specifically on the season grid view. This is how you can display all the programs that you've built within a season and in a variety of different ways. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and create a new tab. And under this new tab, I'm going to be building the new season grid. So the way that all our tools work here, they're a drag and drop. So what you do is you click on the season grid icon and drag it over to, over to the center. And then at this point, you will first select which is the season you want to look at. So just for this example, I'm going to choose my spring 219. And then here you'll see that we now have a variety of different display options. We have a weekly layout, which will show you the options um, like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so forth. We also have a list layout. We'll just list programs from top to bottom. We also have a calendar layout, which will show you this in a calendar view, such as the image below. And then we also do have an agenda layout, which is similar to this view under here. And I'll give you uh, an example once we have these up and ready. Uh, as part of it, you can define, um, because the season grid, the idea is that you can do one of two things. One is display all your programs with a unique individual registration button. And if that's the case and you want each listing to have its own registration button, then what you would do is go ahead and, and check this box here at the bottom where it says program restriction uh, registration button. And as an alternative, this is commonly used for all multi-class multi registrations. So this means that when your families are registering, they can look at a list of programs. Each one will have a checkbox with the idea that they can choose more than one program at once. And if that is the case, you'll be able to use this option where you say you want to show the season registration button. And you can add one at the top of your list, whereas you can also add a bottom listing. Next, I'm going to be focusing here on the column options. So this basically means that you have all these different checkboxes which will add the columns with this information on your display page. So again, depending on what information you've selected, let's say class fees, status, room number, like in this case, uh, they will be added or removed based on your selection. So as a default, we have, we're displaying the program name. Here we're showing the price. And you can see that you have several other options that you can select and depending on what you want to display on the front end side. Uh, similar to this, we have the program options. At this time, our season grid uh, tool is visible for classes or camps. Uh, so just as a side note, this is still not available for before and after care programs. Um, and then you'll see that you can also hide programs that have been frozen. You can decide to hide programs that are expired or programs that haven't started yet. So what this means is that our season grid is dynamic and it will automatically hide these programs based on the selections. Now going over here to miscellaneous, uh, we have two options. If you want, again, this will display a season grid and each program name is clickable. One option is if you click on the program name, it'll take you to another tab with the class information. Or if you just want a pop-up with the class details, you can check this box. What that will do is, similar to this example, once you click on the class name, now instead of opening a new tab, you just get a, a small pop-up where you can see the schedule, pricing, description, and if you have any other additional details. So this is a, just a different view if you want to make sure that your users are not going out to a different tab. And then you will also have the option to enable a season grid filter if you check this box. What this will do on the front end side is it will add a filter and I'll show you in a second. You'll be able to add or remove certain of these filters. And if it's disabled, of course, it wouldn't, wouldn't show up. Uh, so actually going up to the top right hand side, you'll see that we have a season grid filter appearance. This is where you can uh, click on this and you can define which are the filters that you do want to activate. And you also have a variety of configurations if you want to change the colors or background um, for for that um, filter box and the same would work for the actual registration button appearance so if you want to change the colors if you want to make them bigger or smaller if you want to center them so you'll have a couple of different configuration options here on this same page 
So finally, once you're done doing all your selections for your season grid view, now you'll click here on the save button. And then at this point, again, the idea here is that the system will automatically pull all the programs that you've selected. In this particular view, I selected the, the work week, so we see it by, by the days of the week. I did include the individual registration button as well as the season grid button. So this is the one that would be used if you're doing the multi-class and this one if you're doing single registrations. Um, and again, in this case, this is just one particular view. Now let's just uh, get a perspective from this on an actual uh, clients page. So I'll just show you a variety of different options. So for example, this uh, particular client is using our season grid view with the active filters. So you can filter by grade or class status in this case. And then uh, here you see the different programs. If you click on the click here to register, this will take you to the multi-class registration view. Or if you just want to read information, I can click on a particular class and this will open that pop-up to see information and description. Uh, as a different uh, setup, just want to show you in this case, we're also using the season grid view. Now this is just a program list where it's not breaking it down by days of the week. Um, and we are also working with the filter here on the right hand side. Uh, a different view is the agenda view, which would be similar to this bottom option. This just shows you, uh, it's a slightly different view with days of the week. Each one has the same information along with the registration button. Uh, and as a final example, you can also do it as a calendar where the actual program links are now set in this calendar view. You can do it at a monthly view. You might decide to do it at a weekly view. Um, and then each, each of these becomes a clickable button that will take you to the registration button, uh, to the registration page. And finally, just to show you, if you are using the multi-registration view, where again, the idea is that you wanna allow participants to be able to register to multiple classes at once, this will be the display mode. So the idea is that here you could choose, for example, an activity that's on Monday, and I can scroll down and now choose another activity on Tuesday, and so forth. So you can add multiple classes, and then from here you'll go to continue and proceed with the regular registration process. Uh, so hope this has been a useful tutorial, and hope to see you soon.